Hello guys, today I will be talking about the important questions that are asked from the CVS section of Physiology during the exams of the first year MBBS. So, moving on to the first chapter that is uh, Physiological Anatomy of the Heart. The various questions asked from this chapter are short note on the pace maker tissue, flow chart on normal spread of electrical activity in the heart, and uh, normal values and clinical significance of conduction velocity in Purkinje fibers. The last question that is normal values and clinical significance of conduction velocity in Purkinje fibers is important. The rest two are not that important. From the cardiac cycle chapter, short note on ejection fraction is important. Short note on heart sounds is also important. And diagram of uh, pressure volume changes in left ventricle during cardiac cycle, left uh, atrial, left ventricular and aortic pressure and heart sound during a cardiac cycle. Left ventricular and aortic pressure changes during cardiac cycle in correlation with ECG. These diagrams are very very important and what happens in Y2 JVP in congestive heart failure is also important. Now moving on with the ECG chapter. The various questions asked from this chapter are short note on the J point in Thoven's law, Venke batch phenomenon, sinus arrhythmia, Wolf Parkinson syndrome and myocardial infarction. All these questions are important. Normal values and clinical significance of PR interval can be asked, and reasoning questions like why most ECG waves are negative in AVR is also important. Ventricular fibrillations are fatal is not that important. ST elevation seen in myocardial infarction is also important. Moving on with the principle of circulation chapter, the various questions framed from this chapter are short note on wind castle effect, sunt vessels and the lap place law. None of these is important. Differences between pulmonary and systemic circulation is the lesser asked question. Low and high pressure system is also lesser asked question. Wind castle and resistance vessels is also not that important. Normal values and clinical significance of central venous pressure is important. What happens in Y2 central venous pressure in cardiac failure is also important. Moving on with the regulatory mechanisms. This is an important chapter and uh, most of the questions are asked from this chapter only. Short note on local CVS regulatory mechanisms, endothelines, axon reflex, sympathetic vasodilator system. Short note on role of nitric oxide in regulation of peripheral resistance and short note on medullary control of blood pressure, bezold Jerry's reflex. All these questions are important. <coughs> uh, now the heart rate chapter. From this chapter, the questions asked are like uh, short note on factors affecting the heart rate, short note on cushion reflex. Normal values and clinical significance of uh, heart rate in severe exercise. Heart rate increases with increase in body temperature. What happens in Y2 heart rate during inspiration and expiration? In this case, the first, second as well as the last question is very important. Cardiac output. The various questions asked are uh, define cardiac output and stroke volume, not important. Short note on regulation of cardiac output is important. Short note on dye dilution method and echocardiography. This is very very important question. Short note on factors affecting venous return is not that important. Arterial blood pressure chapter. The questions framed from this chapter are Short note on short term regulation of blood pressure is very important. Short note on arterial blood pressure is not that important. Define mean blood pressure is a general knowledge question. What happens in Y2 systemic blood pressure when both renal arteries are clamped? This is important. And to blood pressure during isometric exercise is also important. Now moving on with the regional circulation chapter. Short note on triple response and blood brain barrier is important. Normal values and clinical significance of coronary blood flow in subendothelial portion of left ventricle is also very important. Short note on hydrocephalus is also important. Flow chart on blood flow in coronary vessels during different phases of cardiac cycle is also asked. Now moving on with the CVS homeostasis chapter. 
this is an important chapter and uh, questions that can be asked are short note on shock and its classification this is important short note on irreversible shock and syncope is not that important short note on heart failure and uh, hemorrhage shock this is important short note on feedback mechanisms for irreversible shock is not that important short note on red out and black out can be asked thank you